Hello everyone, welcome back to Unmol Astrology channel. Now today's video is actually, actually it was about Sun, Venus, Mercury conjunction which is happening within the transit right now in the sign of Gemini. But I thought that many of you actually have Sun, Venus, Mercury conjunction in your charts. That's why let's, why not to discuss what is the result for Sun, Venus, Mercury. First of all, give a proper understanding to this conjunction and then only talk about what it is going to do in the transit. Since it is a very, very short transit, it might not play out that much. But yes, the people who have it in their natal charts, it is going to work out for them definitely. So let's go with the explanation. So I have divided this particular video into some parts. First of all, I'm going to talk about the general meaning of this particular conjunction where we are going to discuss about the meaning of each and every planet and then the basic general meaning of this conjunction. Then uh, based on the houses being involved. Then we are going to talk about the nature. What nature does this conjunction gives a person? Then we are going to talk about what impact it does on relationships for an individual. And lastly, we are going to talk about how it is, how it impacts on a person's career. Right. So first of all, you need to know here we have Sun, we have Venus, we have Mercury. Sun is the king of astrology. He is the Devata of the Devas. So sun is your soul, sun is your ego, sun is your self-esteem, it's your confidence, it's your dependability, it's your creativity also, it's your intelligence, it's also how people perceive you, it's your atma, it's your soul purpose, right? Mercury, Mercury is the prince of astrology and mercury is your communication skills it's your intellect it's your intelligence it's your uh, the kind of communication devices you have the kind of communication you you know you put forward in front of people it also means it also symbolizes your younger siblings it is one's skills also since it is the natural lord of the third house then we have the planet and you know mercury is also jealousy it's also observance how observant you are how quickly you make a decision and what is your decision making power that is mercury then we have venus venus is the planet of love pleasure devotion it's also the planet that dives you deeper into astrology it's the planet of healing it's the planet of love, giving someone that positive feeling of being loved, that pamper. Venus is creativity, Venus is luxury, artistic things. Venus is relationships, I think I did talk about it. Venus is marriage, Venus is a female for male and female both. Venus is your spouse, regardless of whatever gender you are. So when these three planets come together, so very first thing you need to see to understand this conjunction is that you know, sun is a very, very hot planet. It can burn the significance of the planet it is getting conjunct with. So if sun is with these two planets within three degrees, because you know, Venus and Mercury are used to the heat of the sun because they are always near the sun. They are either one house before or within that house or one house ahead of it. That's why these, these two planets, if they are within three degrees with the sun, only then they get into combustion. And what is going to be the result of combustion? There would be misunderstandings. There would be mis communication there is going to be misunderstandings in love and relationship there could be too much ego within the relationship right so combustion can actually ruin this particular uh, conjunction because it is going to burn the significance of venus and burn the significance of mercury altogether but you would see that these people will be PhDs. These people will be still very knowledgeable and very educated, but they would have a sort of negative arrogance about it. But when this per 
particular these two planets are not combust or any of them is not combust then it just illuminates the qualities of mercury and venus means very good intellect very intelligent clever uh, very evaluative creative artistic so all these qualities very independent and presentable so all these qualities are going to come in if they are at certain good degrees remember first of all in literal sense the second lord the third lord the fifth lord sixth lord and the seventh lord are coming together now since it is involving the second lord and it's the planet sun mercury venus second house is about your finances these people would always want to have highest of status and second house is also about lifestyle they want to have highest of lifestyle they want to have a royal lifestyle and you will see they are also very boastful about their income finances and their lifestyle but because of mercury's influence these people can get very much paranoid about money they can get jealous very easily with other people's status so only this boastful nature will come in whenever they depict or they predict that the other person is trying to put them down so they they have a jealousy kind of nature and only because of that they project that boastful nature otherwise you will see them being very very budgetary and very analytical with the spending of money but when mercury comes in you want to spend on your self pleasure but you are not very much open handed with other people so you you don't want to spend on things which do not involve your personal interest okay so second house is also about one's speech these people have bold authoritative and very impactful speech when they speak people will listen and also since sixth lord is also being connected here and second lord is connected here they would have they would have to actually be very careful with what they eat they get paranoid very easily about what they are eating once suppose any minute health problem comes in they will just get very cautious and very careful with what they are eating that's because of mercury's influence but since second and sixth lords are getting connected that means that these people want to have a you know they have very finer taste they are very foody but they have to be careful with their digestive system because of the influence of sun there can be too much heat or pitta within their body but also you can also see most of the these people can have a a mix of sweet tooth and savory tooth and also you would see these people having lots of uh, that fried food bhature and all of that punjabi food that we have now they also love that they are very foody people then the third house gets connected third house is about younger siblings it's about one's courage so you will see that these people actually do not have too much courage they get disappointed very easily because they are too involved into things in in their life and their communication style can actually vary a lot many times that is because the sun gives them an authoritative speech it gives them a way of uh, commanding towards people but also venus brings in manipulation and it brings in diplomacy so these people can be very blunt and truthful but where there is required to be diplomatic these people can be that so they are a mix of both mix of actually they have so many i won't say they have so many personalities but because of mercury these people do have adaptability they do know how to gel into their environment then we have fifth house also being connected fifth house connection first of all shows that they hardly will have a love marriage but they would have least amount of relationships in their life hardly one or two or maybe if suppose this conjunction is being aspected by saturn or mars or jupiter even these people might not have any relationship till the till 30 years or before they get married because these people are soulful lovers when they love they love with their whole heart and soul and they are very 
curious people also very curious and witty okay then since fifth lord is being connected here fifth house is being connected here they have an interest in investments fifth second being connected all together they want to have investments in life they would also always be keen to invest their money somewhere especially in jewels gold and also speculative investments and they would have interest at some point in vedantic knowledge mythology and they would be excellent learners of astrology and excellent learners of uh, um mythology and also they would develop their interest in some sort of investments also and also teaching whatever they learn even if this person is a lawyer even if this person is an it engineer even this person is an astrologer they would love spreading information and they would love teaching other people what they know or just having a communication having a conversation over it then since the sixth lord is being connected i told you these people are very much about their routine repetitive work but yes their health can get compromised in terms of their digestive system they have to be very careful with that and always they want to have a very beautiful environment at their workspace you will see those people those people who have a small cabin they just decorate that cabin and they always want to uh, want be that cabin to be very uh, pleasurable to the eyes these are those in the vishwas then 7000 involvement in relationships they have so much involvement why because mockery is there their intelligence goes towards the relationships venus is being connected there they observe every single thing within the relationship and since they observe and consider every single thing first of all they get attracted easily but they have high morals that these people would never communicate they would never come to you and communicate rather they would just sit back and wait for you to communicate to them ego issues with the siblings and also within the relationships now what nature do, does this particular conjunction gives to a person remember venus being connected with sun and mercury actually makes a person very very creative mercury is one's communication and one's skills and venus is creative and artistic skills and sun is a planet who illuminates them so first of all these people are very knowledgeable these people are very truthful very blunt with their speech they don't have that uh, uh, they don't have that kind of uh, they have they have transparency within this their communications but they can appear to be quite authoritative and impactful with their way of communication these people are practical analytical envious intelligent actually very very intelligent these people are also very good with mimicking very good imitators they are extremely knowledgeable they are social and they want they love they have a love for fine dining also a good lifestyle these people are romantic clever and also spiritual but you will see these people are actually quite loyal so they are loyal friends and also they are loyal lovers and partners they are curious witty and also quick thinkers but you know mercury in this conjunction can actually give them a paranoid behavior which i discussed before they it can make them very self conscious so these people are extremely self conscious about their appearance about their life in general ab about their finances about the way they look the way they speak everything they just very self conscious now talking about their relationships first of all as discussed before these people have limited amount of encounters as a part of love then these people are soulful lovers if they love they are going to be they love you they are going to be your friend they are going to be your partner and they are going to be a person you can depend upon blindly 
these people hardly have love marriage but they do have a very uh, very serious encounter at least once in their life before they get married okay these people have a spouse who is quite authoritative communicative youthful intelligent intellectual and very very knowledgeable very diplomatic in love also they all they have a expression of love which will so these people are very expressive in love if they are in love they would do massive gestures for their spouse and that's because see sun is there venus sun is the planet of soul they love with soul the venus is there the planet of love and the mercury which is being connected here that is the planet of communication that is the planet of expression so they have a very romantic way of expressing that love but you will also see that they'll get offended really really easy okay because for example these are the people who suppose for their spouse they have uh, done a massive uh, surprise you know on their birthday and they'll just observe that the other person is he reacting the way i want him to do so if they don't you will see these people just getting on that corner and feeling i am not going to do this again for you you know because you didn't react the way i wanted to <laughs> so they have those expectations they might communicate it or not that is very much dependent on the sign it is in and it is very much dependent on um you know um how it is uh, Uh, what aspect this conjunction is receiving but this thing happens there and definitely definitely these people want to always want to be independent in life because of the financial thing that goes around within the marriage and also within their family although they have a very very youthful very childlike relationship within the marriage also and within the uh, family also now about the career so these individuals when it's about finances they always have a focus to build a long term wealth that's why they use investments they use um, assets they use their money so as to invest in the assets which are going to grow with time another thing as a part of career these people can be public speakers because of the a charming voice that they have the charming style of communication that they have they can be imitators or stand up comedians because naturally because of mercury they have extremely good sense of humor because of venus that humor gets creative because of sun that that actually gets illuminated and that gets they get the confidence to present it unless one of these planets is debilitated these people are excellent negotiators excellent negotiators when it's with when it comes about business and also with their negotiating and debating skills these people can be good lawyers another thing you would also see with venus mercury uh, and sun conjunction these people can be in can be into it profession also but under the creative part suppose these people are architects suppose these people are architects of the softwares so it engineers but about software development or about creating some software out of it creating something new out of it and also these people are very good astrologers these people are spreader of in information because first of all out of that curiosity that they have they gain a lot, a lot of information these people can be excellent investment bankers and also these people can be interior de designers and hr managers human resource managers because because of mercury and sun conjunction being connected with venus these people have a skill or the understanding of of understanding the other human being so they know what potential another person can have and they know how to just get it elevated especially if jupiter is aspecting this conjunction or is conjunct this conjunction these people can be good advisors and counselors now here i'm going to discuss about the transit so i'm not going to go through each ascendant but let me tell you the tell you for this particular duration 
so the, they are conjunct since 15th of june and are going to be there till 29th of june right so till then people since this conjunction is happening into gemini there is going to be misunderstandings with communication but also those misunderstandings are going to lead towards clearer communication there's going to be a massive transformation which we already discussed with venus coming into ardra nakshatra because in, the, in this time venus is going to be in ardra mercury is going to be in ardra so at this time these people are going to have very transformative uprooting communication there can be uh, some distance with communication within relationships or friendships so there can be uprooting communication so as to something stable to come around so there can be fights there can be a lot of debates there can be a lot of spreading of information so be very careful with spreading something or saying something which you think has the power to get influenced Another thing is that you would see on a mundane level, you would see a lot of creativity coming around, a lot of creations, good content and very viral content to which is going to come on the social media. And most of the people for this month of June are going to use technical skills to enhance their work and profession. But the only disturbance it is going to give in to love relationships and relationships in general so be very careful of what you communicate how you communicate the result can be positive but the process is going to be challenging so guys that was my analysis about this conjunction i hope not just about the transit but you are very clear about this conjunction in your natal chart or even in your d9 chart right so guys if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe like comment and share if you guys would like to have your personal readings from me you can check out the link below www.unmoleastrology.com and under the reading section you can book a personal reading for yourself and under the unique reading section you can book a unique reading for yourself so see you in the next video bye bye take care